how do you become so hyper aware of like you as a person and individual to know what your tendencies are um and how do you how do you become aware of the patterns that the enemy can attack you it, it's it and, and this goes we'll just we'll just go back to the picture thing real fast okay identify who's your picture okay that guy right over there on the end of the on the end at the end of the dugout that guy right there mm -hmm. or the dude that we watched the film that's who we're watching and and, and and the stuff that I'm passing is stuff that I was uh, kind of getting discipled on by Dr. Ed LeMans, who's been doing this for decades. Um, and, he, and the way he taught it and has taught me and I teach others now is you got to look at it as a house. Like we got a big room. You got your front door, side door, back door, and you got your windows. Your front door is you choose to sin. Genesis 4, 7 says, in your, um, do not sin for sin is crouching at your door. Mm -hmm. Don't sin. It's looking for you. It wants you. It wants you too. Um, so me choosing to sin, me, um, stealing from someone or cursing someone yeah. or committing adultery. That is me choosing to sin. We can, we can go on forever on this one. And then you've got that. That's a way that they can get a foothold on you. Um, other people sin against us, right? And we, we fail to forgive. The Bible talks so much about forgiveness, even in the, um, the Lord's prayer. The way you forgive your debt, your debtors, they I, they will forgive. I will forgive you. If we think about that, oh gosh, wait, you're doing to me what I'm doing to them. Yeah, I need to reassess. I, I remember like getting that point out. I'm like, oh man, it tells you right there. We we say we teach kids this all the time, but do we teach kids what we should be teaching? Right. The power of those words, right? Death and life, and the power of the tongue. I mean, it's it's, it's so important, Absolutely. and realize you're like. I'm not trying to not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before it's like, like, dude, you gotta, you gotta own up to that. Um, but you have the, the, the failure to forgive, right? Uh, back to the, uh, do not in your anger, do not sin like that. That that's why, um, it doesn't mean you can't get angry. It's just like, Hey, don't do bad things, which we tend to do. Like, Hey, I'm angry. You're not giving me what I want. I'm going to go to the bar and find something, right? That would be it. Um, uh, backdoor generational sense talks about generational sins, talks about Jesus, uh, talks about throughout the Bible about this stuff that our parents did. It's not our fault, but it's still there. It's stuff that we still need to clean out. Then you got your windows, or I would call them opportunities of people, places, and things. I choose to go somewhere. I choose to hang out with someone, like the drug dealer on the corner, yeah. or go to the strip club, or whatever it is. I'm choosing. I am doing, or the music I listen to, the things I watch. Yeah. It is all playing into our mindset, the way I th think, perceive, take in things, and now my moods are changing, and that is giving the enemy an opportunity to have rights to you. Because people say, oh, unclean spirit, in the name of Jesus, get out of here. That's true, if they don't have rights. You choosing, that's when you need to go through your confess, repent, forgiveness stage or else they will harass you. You can say in Jesus' name all day long and they will laugh at you. Yeah. It says in Revelation 12, the devil is in front of um, God day and night to accuse. Mm. Why is he accusing? Because his little crony is like, mm, he did that, there he goes. God is, a, God is a just, he's a just God. We gotta look, they're legalists. It's, it's a legal system, right. we have to look at that.